welcome back welcome back today i want to talk about um candles yes candles so have you ever looked at a candle and was like hmm i wonder what's burning what's happening when we see candles there are a million questions that one could ask like how does a candle burn for example is it the solid form? Is it the liquid form? Is it just the wick of the candle that burns? Um, what is the melting point of the wax in a candle? And is heat evenly distributed in a candle? Well, these are some questions that I am going to answer with the following video. And hopefully it'll give you some idea of what is actually happening when that candle is burning. Oh, I am so sorry this video is so crooked, but um, just bear with me. I am trying to get better at this recording thing. All the questions that were mentioned earlier are about the physical properties of wax. So a candle is made up of a conglomerate now, conglomerate just means that it is just a number of different things or parts that are put or grouped together to form a whole, but each entity remains distinct. So each entity has its own, you know, function. So there is a conglomerate of carbon chains, usually containing between 31 and 50 carbons, and it, this is shown in this picture right here. So how does a candle burn? Is it the solid form or the liquid form of the wax that burns? As heat is applied, wax melts to form an oil. The oil travels up the wick and that is what is burning when you see a candle burn. What is the melting point of the wax in a candle? The melting point for wax is greater than room temperature but less than the temperature of the flame. That's why when a normal candle that is not lit, it, it is solid because the melting point is greater than room temperature. But once the, the flame is applied, you know, you have the area that's close by the flame, it will um, melt, but the other part will not. The oil and vapor that form, they burn when exposed to heat from the flame to oxygen. Is heat distributed evenly in a candle? No, only the oil near the flame burns. So heat is not evenly distributed in the system. So therefore you don't have a entire candle jar full of oil. You, you have half wax and then half oil. So no, the heat is not evenly distributed. So, and I guess this is why I'm so head over heels in love with candles. It is a lot to them. It's a very neat, intricate system. Um, it, and it's, it is more to candles than meets the eye. Yeah, candles are pretty cool, aren't they? Who would have ever thought that a candle had so much detail <laughs> in, involved in it? But as always, if you like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you want to, share. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, as always, peace, love, and happy thoughts. Bye.